If you're looking for a no frills Bluetooth mouse to pair with your Mac, check out the Sateki M1. This is a Bluetooth mouse that features a USB-C port on the top of it to recharge it, and it has an Apple-esque design to it. But there are a couple of small drawbacks to this mouse, so in this video I'm going to talk about all my favorite things about this mouse, and a couple of things I think Sateki could do better with their next Bluetooth mouse. Now I do want to say Sateki sent me this mouse for free for purposes of making this video, but they have no input into this content. This is all going to be based on my experience using the M1 in the real world. So whenever I got this out of the box, I was really impressed with just how small and compact this is, while also still being pretty comfortable. It's not quite as tall as some of the nicer, more ergonomic mouses I've used, but it has a almost flat Apple Magic mouse-like feel to it, but it does raise the back of your wrist up a little bit. I also really love the scroll wheel on this. I think the scroll wheel is the standout feature. It's got a nice texture to the top of it, very quiet as well. The left and right clicking on this mouse work well, but they do feel a little bit louder than they should probably be. It also gives you kind of a hollow sounding click on it as well, so I definitely think Sateki could improve the clicking on this mouse. So you can still use this mouse even while it's plugged in, but you do have to use the Bluetooth connection to have it connected to your computer or your tablet. On the back of it, you have the pairing button, so to put it in pairing mode, just press and hold the button. The light will start to flash and you can pair it. There's no easy switch button or ability to save multiple devices, so every time you want to use this with a different computer or tablet or phone, you will have to repair it. I think the spot that they fell a little flat with this mouse is, I would have just made it all one color, so make it all white or all silver. And there's a couple of other different color options as well, like there's a space gray and black version that looks really cool, but instead of having this part being the different color, I just think it would look better if it all was completely the same color. So what I like about the Sateki stuff is it looks a little bit more Apple-like than some of the Logitech products that they offer, but also this comes at the expense of sometimes there's not as many features. So there's no customizable buttons with this and there's no ability to switch from one device to the next on it. So I really consider this to be a no frills mouse, but this mouse does work really well. I use it on wood surfaces and have had no issues with it. Haven't had to use a mouse pad with it yet. So I do really like the M1, it works well. I think the clicking could be a little bit quieter and I think they could have made it look a little bit sleeker, but it's really hard to complain whenever you look at the price of this thing and it's only $30. It's really hard to find a good Bluetooth mouse that looks good and functions well in that price range. And I think Sateki definitely knocked it out of the park with the performance of it. For most people, this is gonna be a great simple mouse that is comfortable enough to use it for a while, but if you're looking for a mouse that's gonna be even more comfortable and more ergonomic, you might wanna get a nicer one. But for the price, the look and feel of this mouse is unbeatable, especially if you're not a power user wanting shortcuts like the Logitech ones have to offer. If you're just looking for a nice mouse to pair with your Mac Mini or a laptop you sometimes use at a desk, this is gonna be a fantastic option because it's small, compact has USB-C recharging on it and just works really well. If you're interested in buying this mouse, I do have links to buy in the description below. If you have any other questions about it, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.